Stayallday.com What's going on everybody? Dre Ball and Dre all day. The Swiss motivation is kind of answer to a question people ask sometimes when they see like the stuff I put out or any of you out there. Any of you out there who put a lot of work and dedication into your craft, whatever it may be, whether you're an athlete, whether you're a lawyer, whether you're a student, whatever it is you're into, and people say, yo, why do you be working so hard? Why you be putting in so much work? Why you get up so early? Why you stay up so late? Why you putting so much effort into doing this? My answer to that is why the fuck not? What else are you going to do? I mean, in life, we only here for a certain amount of time. I know when you're young and things is going fine and you feel good, you feel like life is going to go on forever. Actually, it's not even that you feel like it's going to go on forever. It's that you're not even thinking about the fact that you might die. But you know how you read the newspaper or you watch the news some days and you hear some story about some woman who had her three kids in a car and they crashed head on into a truck and they all died or how some plane crash happened and three people died in some state that's 3,000 miles away from you or how somebody's house got robbed and two people got shot and killed but it's so far away from you, you're so far removed from it you don't even think twice about it and I do the same thing, I don't even think twice about it I'm like, damn, that's, that's fucked up that that woman and her kids died but it's somewhere in, you know, North Dakota it didn't happen to me, it's not nobody that I know it didn't happen across the street, I didn't see it and you thinking that that ain't me but who's to say it won't be you? Who's to say next time you cross the street, some drunk driver might not be coming and, and kill you? Who's to say next time you're in a car, somebody on the other side of the road is driving out of control? You could be the best driver in the world. What's, what you going to do to stop them from smashing head on into you? Nothing. Who's to say somebody might not be standing outside your door waiting to shoot you in your head next time you go to work? Nobody knows. You don't know when your life is going to end. You don't know when it's going to be over. So while you're here, if you're going to be committed to something, if you're going to do anything, why not put all your effort into it? Why not work as hard as you possibly can at it? Why not see how far you can take it? I talk about this in other motivational videos. Why not take it as far as you possibly can? You have no idea when it's going to be over. Do you think you know, Brandon Roy, basketball player, played for the Portland Trailblazers. He was an all-star, had a damn near max contract. His knees gave out. He wasn't even 30 yet. He had to retire from basketball. You think he planned on that? But he was going as hard as he possibly could when he was playing. Look at Kobe Bryant. He don't know how long he's going to be playing basketball, but he goes all out. Even if this is his last year, even if he can't do it like he used to do it, he still goes all out because he don't know when it's going to be over. None of you know when it's going to be over, whatever it is you're doing. You don't know. It, you could be taken out today. This is somebody watching this video right now, if a thousand people watch this video, a year from now, at least one of you thousand, one of us thousand, let me not say you, one of us thousand ain't going to be here this time next year. You don't know if that's going to be you. So why not put all the effort you can into everything that you do? Because it's the only thing that's going to be left to represent you when you're gone. The clothes you're wearing, the TV shows you watch, the shit you said on Twitter, Ain't none of that stuff going to matter. All that's going to be matter is the actual things you accomplished, if any. Work on your game. DreAllDay.com Hey, this is Benny from Auckland, New Zealand. And Tom from Auckland, New Zealand too. Work on your game.